compared it next to an LCD, right? And between the brightness, between the bezels, between being able to front service it, all face of glass, it would have never worked without the Dactronics LED product. Hello, and welcome to the Dactronics Experience Podcast. I'm Justin Oxner here with Matt Anderson. Today, we're joined by Jeremy Schneider, sales engineer at Interium. He's going to talk about a recent installation at Graco, what it's like to work with Dactronics, and other applications he's seeing for LED displays. And we're here today with Jeremy, the sales manager at Interium. Jeremy, how you doing? Doing well. Thanks, guys, for having me. How are you? We're good. I'm good. I should speak for myself. I'm good. How are you doing, Matt? I'm doing good, Justin. Thank you. And uh, Jeremy, could you tell us a quick introduction of yourself and Interium and what kind of work you guys do? Yeah, uh, we are. Interium is a workspace solution uh, company. So we are one office, uh, locally owned, locally headquartered here in Plymouth, Minnesota. Um, we specialize in workspace solutions. So that includes uh furniture, audio, video, and a modular wall division. Uh, we have a vertical in corporate healthcare, K through 12, which kind of touch all the gamuts. Uh, the big, the big thing with Interium's workflow is that we are able to be turnkey uh, for your more corporate office, healthcare offices from beginning to end, from the design of your project to the implementation, the installation, and the day two uh, is kind of who we are. Uh, started in 1995, it was an amalgamation of uh, facility systems and work sites. And I introduced the audio video division with the IT director at the time, Mark Lawrenson, in 2011. So we're uh, here in nine years, almost 10, in audio video uh, that we specialize in. And I think the current count, we're at about uh, 20 folks that specialize just in audio video, and we have around 150 people here total. Oh, wow. I mean, even even in the time you've been there, has that been... Um, have you guys always kind of had that same focus or has it kind of grown over the years? Uh, no, it's grown for sure. Uh, with the focus when I came in to the building was definitely a more furniture driven uh, workspace solution, even a different time, right? There were more corner offices and high panel workstations. Now the shift we see in the workspace is more open office and free address seating uh, a, we don't do projects anymore without technology, right? There's no one getting into an office space or again, healthcare space K through 12 that isn't doing some form of technology, conference rooms, unified communication, large scale LED. Uh, we see for sure there's been a shift, uh, over the last five, six years for sure as, uh, how far our technology division and how busy we are. And you said you introduced the audio visual about nine, 10 years ago. Is, is that when you joined the team there? Yeah, 2011 was my first year here. I started doing AV in uh, 1996, not to date myself. I spent <laughs> some time in Fargo, North Dakota and Las Vegas, Nevada. Interesting dichotomy there, but I was doing two different things. Uh, and then came to the greater Minneapolis metro area in 2011. Okay. And working with Dactronics um, for Interium, there was a recent project we worked on together. Can you tell us a, a general overview of that project and how things went with that? Yeah, most recently, we just, uh, uh, the Interium and Dactronic teams just completed a project here in Rogers, Minnesota, right outside uh, Minneapolis at the Graco facilities. Uh, Graco Inc. Uh, they are a filtration spray technology company. Uh, we just built a state of the art training center, and Dactronics helped us come in and do four large scale, I believe they're eight and a half feet wide and 20 feet tall uh, LED walls in their training center uh, so they can host and educate various. Uh, 
very, very large corporations on their technologies and what Graco does. It's multifaceted. They train in there. They have corporate meetings in there. They have uh, meetings. It's a great space now with everything going on because they can get so many people in there. Um, it's, uh, I'm sure we'll be able to post photos to the link so you can see in there photos of it. But it's uh, that I know of corporately, I'm almost positive in saying it's the largest LED corporate outside to say what Dactronics has done at U.S. Bank and Target Field, I say in a corporate setting. I think mm -hmm. it is one of the largest projects that's currently up and running. Okay, yeah. Do you have a question there? Yeah, maybe like I'm kind of thinking, Jeremy, walk me through maybe how does that start then? Does, does Graco then come to you and just start to say, hey, we need, I mean, you mentioned they're kind of for, you know, education or for different trainings when they come in. Um, how does the project go from, you know, the, the discussions or brainstorming to the actual final steps? Yeah, uh, you know, Graco came to us, the original plan, uh, you don't know what you don't know, was their own engineers internally discussing how they were going to get 60 TVs to talk to each other on four columns. Uh, to tell you the truth, that's good. there are a bunch of engineers over there, very bright folks. And we were doing a lot of rollout for them with the room scheduling, conference rooms, sound masking, whatnot. And they came to us to talk about it. They've been a partner of Interium for well over 20 years. Okay. So they came to our division uh, and they asked us uh, for help with this training center. It was more of a vision than it was, I would say, a project on paper. It was in conjunction with Mortensen Construction and RSP Architecture, um, two other folks that we do a lot of projects with. They came to us and it was more of a vision. It was more of an idea. And Graco needed a wow and they needed something to set them apart and something to have when they were hosting folks in there to really show the scale of what Graco does. That's why the LED walls themselves are so large. When you walk in, the content being displayed on them is almost larger than life. And that's the feeling they wanted to get. They wanted to show how they're able to do these massive projects and, um, and, and show who they are. It's a great media to show who they are. So we worked again with them and their marketing folks, uh, great content videos. And it's now really become a multifaceted space. Uh, the big thing about the training center and for Dactronic is not only the LED walls are so great, but we also were able to tie in a lot of other technology as far as, you know, signage. We built some buttons into the walls so they can kind of start and stop as they're training from however they want to. Hmm. Uh, the different touring technologies, but the DAC walls there are for sure the highlight, the expansion is massive and i can tell for sure that the the training center gets the most gets the most traffic i'm thinking if i heard you right when they first came to you they were they're looking at a lot of lcds or tvs you had said is that was that kind of a shift to get them to think of leds as an alternative to going with uh, lcd tvs yeah, the original call-out actually was, uh, I, I quoted, right, I think there was 15 panels per column, so 60 LCD panels at the time. Wow. And um, we we spoke, yeah, we spoke candidly with them. This would have been 2000, beginning of 19, beginning of 18. And, you know, when you go down to Infocom or anywhere, all you see is the DAC and all the LED. said it's time for a shift. You guys, uh, 15 panels is going to be a ton of bezels. Uh, what will you do for service? What will you do for wow? It will look antiquated the first day we put it in. And uh, we actually, the Dactronic group was fantastic. Uh, between James and Jim, I want to say, and Jake was the PM on the project, I, there was no fewer than three or four times that they drove up from South Dakota with the demo product to show both Graco in their new facility and at Interium. Um, so they would just have an idea and get an idea. We compared it next to an LCD, right? And between the brightness, between the bezels, between being able to front service it, it there wasn't, it's all face of glass. It would have never worked without the Dactronics LED product. 
I was going to say that's we've heard that from customers before too, when they aren't maybe familiar with led displays or led technology and you can see pictures and everything of it. But when you get a demo unit, like you're talking about and they see it in person, then that's kind of when they understand this is why it's different than the other technologies. For sure. The president of that division at Graco was there for maybe eight minutes out of a two hour demo. And it wasn't even a question. We did bring in an LCD panel just to show the difference uh, in brightness and what they're getting at. And it was the DAC product just shows, you know, so great. The DAC team was fantastic with all the content. And it was honestly, it was a home run from the get go. And that was from the product selection process. What was it like to work with Daktronics once the project moved forward and onto installation? Uh, you know, James, for sure, uh, top-notch the guy is, uh, man, he would drive in, he would meet with us, even in the pre-sale process, he was close. It was important for Graco to have that connection with Dactronic 2. They have a large office in Sioux Falls. There's a South Dakota connection there. Their engineers were familiar with DAC. So it, it went pretty smoothly as far as getting the you know, the buy-in, so to speak, into LED. Uh, James really went out of his way on the pre-sale side to make folks comfortable, to get demo units, talk about warranty service um, just from the sales side. But the, I will tell you, we've worked with other uh, folks in the display world, and Daktronic, it's, it's not even a, a tangible number I can give you at how much above and beyond the DAC team went on this project. Um, even an implementation, the PM time, the install help, literally the quality control, the going over the modules. It, it, it's a, uh, we're spoiled now because we're used to that LED experience with that. <laughs> and we're not getting that everywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> spoiled is, a, is what we like to hear. Um, so, and, and Jeremy, was this the first project that you had worked on with the Dactronics team? I said this is the first large-scale project. Yes, correct. Yeah, there was four, uh, four walls we put in, 1.9 pixel pitch. Um, this is the first large-scale project, yes. Okay. Um, what other video wall applications are you looking forward to in the future? Like you, you've done this project with these, these big four here for Graco. Um, is there anything kind of on the horizon that you're looking at? You know, we do so much that's in the corporate and healthcare level. So James and I are actually talking about a few projects right now uh, that will be spread out uh, in all our verticals that we see the most exciting and I think largest growth as far as, you know, we're a corporate AV integrator at the end of the day mm -hmm. will be what we're seeing in push from for interior spaces, right? For boardrooms, for training centers, for large conference rooms, we're seeing such a huge growth in that demographic, right? Where people just need a larger screen than your standard 98 inch TV, right? Or there's so much brightness or so much wow, they want it on all the time. And it really helps diversify a space, you know, instead of just being a lobby wall, so to speak, and showing digital signage, it's now, it's a dynamic space when you get a DAC wall in there because you can be showing content, you can do all these things, but at the same time, you can go plug in, have a meeting there, get in front of a group, have something impromptu. So the products are just becoming so more, much more versatile than just here, here's X LED wall. They're actually, they're great to tie into our other offerings and our other products too. So we'll see a lot more um, corporate work happen with uh, LED. I'm kind of excited for some um, all-in-one options, so to speak. That'll be nice. And that's where I would see the most growth. Yeah, and you kind of mentioned, you know, there's there's certain reasons why an LED technology display would work. And it's, I mean, you've talked about brightness and then bezels too. But I mean, when you're talking about these projects and meeting with customers, it's not always just the one display, right? Like how, do, how is the content side of this go? Do you tell them, you know, you can zone this all out as much as you want. It's one big screen. Or how does that conversation go? You 
you know, content is king sometimes, right? You can have the greatest product in the world, but if you're not showing the right content on it to really let it show, uh, we did some exciting things with DAC and the Graco team over there. There are four separate walls, but we do have separate layouts, so we can have four walls doing four different things. We can actually blend content across all of them. We can stagger it, so it seems when you're walking from one end of the training center that it's kind of following with you. Um, content very diverse. I mean, that's what's great about the DAC platform too. It's such an open platform, right? You can plug whatever you want to as far as signage and content into it and any sources. That's a huge thing for us and we'll be moving forward too is that the platform for DAC is so open. And I like that you said content is king because we've had, I mean, we had examples in the past where a, a customer will remain nameless is put in a new display and then they maybe just do you know, like yellow text across it and that was it kind of thing. And then that's where our, our creative services group usually comes in and tries to help them out and say, Hey, you know, this is capable of so much more. So it's a lot of like what you said, you can have the greatest display in the world, but you need the right content and engaging content on there to really get that wow factor. Yeah. Couldn't agree more. Right. You see it, we have four 20 foot tall walls, right. And you know, depending on the resolution of the content, the walls were, I mean, they're such a wow and they're so awesome. Right. But the original content we did, we went back with the Graco team and updated things, you know, as far as resolution and whatnot, because it was such a wow, right. Now it's 20 feet tall and it's right in front of you. So it for sure drove some of that. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious, what have you seen as some of the most interesting content people have put on these types of displays and these, in these applications? The folks at Great Code do a lot, show a lot of videos about their product, uh, show a lot of things for spray and filtration. Uh, we see a lot of the wow, uh, the Vikings and the Twins do a great job, right, of developing content and having the great audio, the high res stuff. You know, they have the Minneapolis Miracle there going all the time against the Saints, like blasting that everywhere. So <laughs> yeah. some of that content is me. <laughs> yeah, Matt likes that one for sure. Yeah, I'm a big Vikings fan, so every time I hear Minneapolis Miracle, I get a smile on my face. So. Yep, we only needed it for two more weeks. <laughs> So you're, you're looking in and seeing all these different um, applications. You've listed plenty of different ones in corporate settings and different settings where people are looking to go LED. Is there any other um, like LED applications out there that you guys are, are cert certainly looking to, to implement LED in uh, any given space? You know, auditorium spaces have become, you know, we deal with mostly interior. And what we're seeing right now is um, public spaces, lobby spaces, auditoriums, all those are becoming now a um, realistic play in LED. Uh, people are used to seeing it. People want the wow, makes it into a meeting space. And then again, the boardroom conference room application, that's probably our largest growth area. And I'm thinking, you know, you, you mentioned spoiled now since the since this project and working with Dactronics and the Graco one being such a success, you're being spoiled and you get more excited. Does that... Does that kind of make you think differently now of other projects you go into, knowing that something like really cool and unique like this was pulled off? Completely. We've been invited to projects where they use antiquated technology, whether it be an LCD display or even projector. We lead now because of this experience with Dactronic and LED. We we want to be known as not just the 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 partner that brings in you know, X solution in to get to the table. We want to be on the forefront. We want to be about change and driving this. So for sure, um, the experience with DAC and just the, the wide range of DAC product has helped us be very diverse in the projects we're able to be involved with too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I wanted to thank you for coming and joining us today. It sounds sounds interesting of what you've got going on, and, and I'm, I'm really interested to hear about what some of the things you and James might have coming up in the future. So we'll definitely keep an eye out for that. But thanks for joining us today and, and sharing um, uh, about Interium and, and how Dactronics has worked with you. I appreciate your time. Thank you for having me. All right. Thanks, Jeremy. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Dactronics Experience Podcast. Please subscribe at your favorite place to listen to podcasts to keep up with our latest episodes. 